Don Norman is a pretty well-known person in the field of design. Not game design, but more the physical object side of it. He wrote a great book called The Design of Everyday Things, where he talks about some of the most important principles to keep in mind when designing something. One of the principles he talks about is called mapping. Don Norman defines mapping as the relationship between the elements of two sets of things. So it's kind of a confusing definition, so what does that mean? Well, he goes on to essentially define it as the spatial relationship between a set of controls and the things that it's controlling. So for example, the arrow keys on a keyboard are arranged so that the up arrow key is on the top, the left arrow key is on the left, the right key is on the right, and the down key is on the bottom. Pretty simple, but it makes using the arrow keys much easier. Or if you look at a row of light switches, the far left switch should control the light that's farthest to the left from where you're standing. Or for another example, most stoves have four burners arranged in a square. The dials that control those burners should ideally also be arranged in a square, with each dial spatially corresponding to the burner that it's controlling, the top left dial controlling the top left burner, and so on. The design of everyday things is not specifically about video games, but most of the concepts in it can be applied to games. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is really centered around the controller in a lot of ways. The player has to control two characters at the same time, one with each analog stick on the controller. That sounds difficult, and it is at first, but the game does a lot to make it easier. One of the more subtle ways it does that is through mapping. If you look at a controller, and the PlayStation controller is a little different, but I use an Xbox controller. So on an Xbox controller, look at where the analog sticks are. They're roughly over where the two brothers have to be for this puzzle. For a lot of the puzzles and action sequences of the game, the two characters are spatially in about the same alignment as the analog sticks. This section would be a lot more awkward to control if it was the other way around, with one in the top right and the other in the bottom left. Or in this part, they're being chased by a dog and have to distract it with one brother while the other one moves to a safe location. As they go back and forth, the platforms are positioned so that they still stay roughly in that alignment, with one closer to the top left and the other closer to the bottom right. In some places, if the brothers get out of alignment or too far apart, it will actually move the camera so that they're back in an easy to see location and lined up with the analog sticks once again. It does this a lot in earlier areas especially, like when they're in this cave. Even in sections that have lots of moving parts or that require them to be near each other, the camera is constantly tilting to keep them at a slight angle. And this keeps happening throughout the game. A lot of the puzzles that require the brothers to be in different places use that positioning to make controlling them easier. It's always good to take advantage of the controller as much as possible. Especially if your control scheme is a little awkward, anything the developers can do to make it feel more natural is certainly worth doing. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching this episode of Breakdown.